Black Friday deals are here once again, or rather it's pretty much Black Friday month at this point with how early they've been starting this year. And I have rounded up all of the best deals I found across my travels on the internet if you are looking to potentially save some money on your smart home. And this time, given the shenanigans that have been going on recently with cloud devices in the smart home, I feel like it's my duty for this video to focus entirely on devices that are local control only, which of course is very important as explained in the previous video. As always, down below I will have a link to a website where there will be a spreadsheet with all of the latest deals that I can find, with all of the various countries and additional products that I will keep updating over the week or two that all of the deals are live for, so keep checking that list if you want all of the latest information. As always, drop a comment down below if you have a suggestion for a deal that is not on the list and I can get it added for everyone to enjoy, and let's get into it. First up, let's start with CCTV cameras, and as always, Real Link seems to be at the front of these deals. Starting off with their RLC 811A, which is on deal for £83 from 123 This is a 4K power over Ethernet camera with 5 times optical zoom and built-in AI with local vehicle and human detection and all of the usual built-in Real Link features like RTSP, OnVIF, and this is probably one of my favourite bullet cameras out there at the moment for this price. Image quality is good and optical zoom is a great addition again for that price. Another really interesting one too is the TrackMix POE dual lens PTZ camera with 355 degree pan and tilt with auto tracking so that it can follow humans around with its AI person tracking and kind of track them as they move around the scene. Also has two camera lenses, one with a wide angle with 107 degree field of view and another telephoto lens with 60 degree field of view, supposedly to give it like a hybrid zoom. We definitely check out some reviews on that camera first to see how well it works, but it seems like an interesting one potentially if it's any good and quite a good price for a full PTZ camera with local control. For indoor cameras, the new Akara E1 camera is also a pan and tilt camera that supports HomeKit secure video with person tracking, Wi-Fi 6 and local recording with an SD card and NAS support, along with on-device person detection, so all done locally once again on the camera with a 2K image sensor. Now, this one doesn't seem like it's on sale if you look at it on Amazon, but if you use this code at the checkout, then you will get 20% off, taking it down to £48. Pretty good for a brand new camera. Reolink also has 30% off their E1 Pro indoor camera, which is a four megapixel camera, also with PTZ functionality and local person detection and auto tracking for just £40. A great indoor camera for home assistant users or if you are already in the Real Link ecosystem. If you're looking for a full system, Anki has a package with an eight channel NVR and four 1080p bullet cameras with one terabyte of storage and human and vehicle detection for 144 pounds, which seems like a pretty crazy price. Or you can step this up to the Real Link system with two terabytes of storage and four 4K eight megapixel cameras instead for 370 down from 540 for a saving of 31%. And all these should be completely local, which of course is the goal. Pretty much all of the Reolink cameras also have direct integration into Home Assistant through the Reolink integration and all work really well. Next up is video doorbells. It's a little bit of a tough one for devices that are actually truly local and have a decent quality image that you can actually use. But two of my favourites that I've reviewed in the past are the Akara G4 and the Real Link doorbell. The Akara G4 is a 1080p doorbell with HomeKit secure video support, local face recognition and is completely wireless. It's got decent image quality, up to four months of battery life, or you can also wire it up to a permanent supply and it records to an SD card that lives in the Chime unit, or you can also record to a NAS now with a recent update. This is probably the best doorbell for HomeKit users right now. For Home Assistant users, there is the Real Link doorbell, which is an insanely good doorbell for the money. It's available in a Wi-Fi or a power over ethernet version, and it hooks up to your existing doorbell wiring. It gives out a five megapixel image, human detection, supports RTSP, 
great image quality and gives you an insane amount of controls inside of Home Assistant and is by far the most granular video doorbell for Home Assistant I think there is. Definitely my favourite. The Wi-Fi version is available for £79 and the Power over Ethernet version is available for £69. Now that is nice. Next category up is for smart sensors. Now all of the brands are likely going to have deals on their sensors. Akara, Sonoff, Shelly, Switchbot and so on. So do be sure to check out the deals in the spreadsheet. But here are some of the standout ones for me. First up we have this temperature and humidity sensor from Sonoff. A big improvement over the previous model and now featuring a handy LCD display. It's Zigbee 3.0, works with ZHA and Zigbee to MQTT and you can get a two pack of these for £26. I've actually got one over there sitting on my desk that I use every day and it's a nice little unit. Next there is the door contact sensor from Akara, the original and the new P2. The original Zigbee unit is the undisputed king of door contact sensors with an insane battery life, very reliable reporting and compact design coming in at £14. The P2 is the successor to the original but instead of Zigbee that unit now features thread and matter compatibility for working with other ecosystems too. How good the battery life remains is to be seen but that one is available for £24 if matter is enough of a draw for you. Switchbot also has their outdoor IP65 hygrometer on sale for £11 if you fancy something that is Bluetooth rather than Zigbee. And according to this post on the Home Assistant form, works directly with Home Assistant if you have a Bluetooth adapter or Bluetooth proxy. Shelly also has a flood sensor with a built-in temperature sensor and works over Wi-Fi with an 18 month battery life for £15. Actually, you know what, why not? I'm feeling generous, so let's give you a discount on the Everything Presence One, our presence sensor that combines a millimeter wave sensor, a PIR, a temperature, humidity, and light level sensor all into one unit. It is, in my opinion, of course, one of the best presence sensors out there right now. It uses ESP Home for direct communication into Home Assistant. Let's put that on sale for say £55 for both the kit and the case. So if you've been looking at the EP1 recently, this could be your chance and it's my way of saying thank you so much for all of the support. By the way, we've actually been adding other products to our lineup too, like our brand new Power Over Ethernet dev kit. Really love this thing, it's been really great so far and we have the Home Assistant Green and the Sky Connect 2 as well on the shop as well as some other dev kits if you want to add them to your discounted EP1 and save on shipping. And once again, thank you so much for continuing to support me and buying the products. I feel incredibly lucky to be able to do this uh, and so thank you to all of you for the support. Next up we have smart lighting and switches. Starting off with the Sonoff Zigbee Mini L2 which is a two-way smart switch that doesn't require a neutral and goes in behind your existing light switch for that stealth look. It uses Zigbee 3.0 and is really compact. That comes in at £17 for a single, £32 for a two-pack or £50 for a four-pack. Next there is a new Govi M1 5 meter LED strip which is a matter over Wi-Fi LED strip with RGBIC meaning that the strip has different addressable zones with lots of different effects in the Govi app. I tested this one back in the last matter video I did if you are interested in finding out more about that. The 5 meter version is £70 and that is a lot better value than the 2 meter version. I wouldn't recommend the 2 meter version at that price. And at the time of filming there is also an additional £10 voucher taking this down to £60 for the 5 meter version in total. If you would prefer a Zigbee LED strip there is the Akara T1 which is Zigbee based and also RGBIC with effects for £42 although that is only for the 2 meter version but you can get an extension if you want to join a few of these up. I also spotted this two pack of inner RGBW Zigbee bulbs for £36 which look potentially pretty good or there is these smaller E14 bulbs from Limkind which do warm white to cool white. That is also a two pack and I have a couple of these in my bedroom lamps actually for quite a few years now and they have been great. Those are just £13 for two bulbs 
which is pretty incredible really, I do like those. If you are a HomeKit user or I guess a Home Assistant user too, Miros has a 5 meter RGBWW LED strip for £22. It's not individually addressable, but that's a pretty low cost 5 meter LED strip and being HomeKit means it is local control. Finally, if you want to go full DIY, you can also get a 5 meter LED strip from BTF Lighting if you want to create your own custom setup including the SK6812 5 meter version for £26 for the 30 LEDs per meter or £43 for the 60 LEDs per meter. My new desk LEDs back there actually use these exact LEDs with our ESP32 Ethernet board and an external power supply and these look really good. They're super customizable with LED and have been running for over a month so far and have been just perfect. Absolutely love them. And I guess that actually leads me nicely into the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. PCBWay have been making all of our custom PCBs for over a year now and have been genuinely so great to work with, including the EP1, the new EP Lite, as well as our dev kit, and have been just so amazing to have as a partner. They can do everything from PCB manufacturing and assembly, 3D printing, CNC machining, injection molding, and so much more if you're looking to create something custom. One really underrated feature that I personally love is that there is a community page which allows you to browse through community submitted projects and order them directly from the page in just a couple of clicks, including 3D printed parts, CNC parts, or PCB parts, and the creators that have submitted these projects also get a kickback from you ordering them, which is really cool. So if you're looking to turn your next project into reality, check out PCBWay with the link down below. Next up is Robot Vacuums, which is traditionally a really difficult one as for some reason, most likely due to the mapping, Robot Vacuums are almost always cloud connected, making it really difficult to find a locally controlled one. And so for that reason, I'll pretty much be recommending Roborock vacuums only because according to their Home Assistant integrations page, they are local polling. However, there is one big caveat here is that you cannot block them from accessing the internet, otherwise they won't work. So please do bear that in mind. So you do control them locally with the Home Assistant integration, but you cannot block them from the internet. However, there is another good reason for recommending Roborock vacuums and that is because a good number of them support being flashed with Valtudo, which is an open source firmware for smart vacuums and is amazing. But it does require a bit of work to flash a device with it. So once you do, you will have a fully locally controlled smart vacuum with lots of great features. The Roborock Q7 Max is just such a vacuum that ticks these boxes with a vacuum and mop LiDAR navigation and multi-level mapping on sale for a really tempting £260 down from £400 and is one that is also on the Valtudo compatibility list for those of you brave enough to dive into the instructions. The Bigger Brother S8 is also on sale too which has dual brushes, obstacle avoidance and bigger suck for £399 and has also just recently become compatible with Valtudo. Nice. Next up, blinds, shades, and curtains. First up, we have the brand new SwitchBot Curtain 3s. That's the new version with an even stronger and quieter motor than the 2s, which were already pretty good. These are Bluetooth and again, work with Home Assistant through the SwitchBot integration. And those are on sale for £63 per unit. You also have the Akara Curtain, which is Zigbee 3.0 based. Again, pretty strong motors and work with Home Assistant as they are Zigbee, coming in at £80 per unit. I would say that the SwitchBot 3s are probably a much better value in my opinion, unless you really want Zigbee, but Bluetooth is fine for an application like this, I personally think, but you do have both options there. For shades, Akara also has their E1 roller shade driver for £48 if you want to retrofit with a chain style roller blind that is once again Zigbee based or you also have the SwitchBot blind tilt for £49 if you have a rod style blind. Finally, if you want to go all out with custom blinds, I've been talking a bit recently about these blinds I actually have all throughout my house from Smart Wings and they are really nice, fully customizable 
available in Zigbee, Z-Wave, Thread, Matter and other flavours and a variety of colours and styles, Smart Wings have 10% off their entire site if you are interested in some of those. Thermostats are another one that often fall victim to cloud control and as such it's really difficult to give a recommendation for. However, one that I did find is this one from Miros which is HomeKit compatible, meaning that it should be completely local and work in Home Assistant through the HomeKit integration. It's pretty inexpensive at £47 and I kind of like the subtle segment display that it has. And there's also some TRVs that go along with them, though it's not clear how these work. They mention needing a hub, but also say that they work with HomeKit, but I'm not sure if you need the hub to add them to HomeKit or not, so please make sure to research that first. Another thermostat that almost made the list was this Tado thermostat kit for 100, which apparently also works with HomeKit. However, I did read a few posts mentioning slow responsiveness, some features missing when using HomeKit only, and some other issues. So again, your mileage may vary and do make sure to check out reviews of that unit first. Finally, there is a couple of tablets on sale for turning into wall tablets to display those sweet, sweet 3D floor plan dashboards. Firstly, there is the Lenovo M10 third generation on sale for just under £120 with a 10 inch 1200p display and 64 gigabytes of storage. That looks like a great little tablet for fully kiosk at that price. And then you also have the Galaxy Tab A8 with 32 gigabytes of storage coming in at 169 Though in this case, I think the Lenovo is a much nicer buy personally. And that is about it for this video. I hope you managed to find yourself some good locally controlled smart home deals this year if you were looking for some. And uh, let me know down in the comments what deals, if any, you picked up for yourself. Really interested to see what the most popular category of device is this year and what people are into. Always fascinates me. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting. Drop this video a like and get subscribed if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.